video of it there. KPRC 2's Corley Peel looked into how the event has become a rising concern for emergency responders in Galveston County. Jeep weekend happens every year and it's an unofficial event that people know about based on word of mouth and each year it tends to get out of hand. We are having a good time. We are at Crystal Beach. A good time partying at Galveston's Jeep weekend leads to people behind bars and in the hospital. It's just been so crazy. You have the four wheelers, you have the ATV. Tens of thousands of people packed Crystal Beach and the Boulevard Peninsula. The area is open to the public and vehicles are allowed. As of Sunday morning, the Galveston County Sheriff's Office says 233 arrests were made and more than 200 charges were filed. At this time, it's unclear what those charges are, but more than 50 people were rushed to the hospital. One woman is in critical condition after deputies say she fell out of a vehicle and hit her head. Those numbers are up compared to previous years. In 2022, records show 100 arrests were made and a deputy was injured during Jeep weekend. 200 arrests and one death was reported in 2021. Two people were shot in 2020 and more than 100 arrests were made. One person died in 2019. This year, the sheriff's office doubled the amount of deputies. Officials say 136 law enforcement officers were in the area on Saturday. Along with beach patrols, deputies monitored neighborhoods to make sure homes were safe from vandalism. Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.